Hello, hello guys, I'm Squareplane and today I got a video reaction to Ultimate Redstoner about his farming XP with style and he showed a design where you can uh, kill the mobs by uh, throwing a potion at them or whatever and you'll only get the XP and you won't get the items the items will get sucked up and uh, get put into your system already so how it works is you stand on the pressure plate you throw your killing stuff and uh, once they're all dead oh there's some left yep so quiet you step off and you see all the items disappearing I didn't pick any of them up I, I'm just picking up all the precious XP and then that's done and everything's clean and you can pick up your items down here and as you see it's filling up and this is all the redstone I made it to it's it's actually smaller than his uh, his format this of course this piece here is needed it's just the input it's just the connection between the pressure plate and the system here but this is it and I think it's pretty small I've was hard to to make it smaller but I'll explain it to you so this is it it's all stripped down and it's 18 blocks smaller than his design and it works just the same up and down so how does it work well this part right here is just your double extender what you need to do is if you want to turn it up you can just just power it and it will go up and if you want it to, to retract correctly you need to give it two pulses so as you can see here on the right it's getting two pulses if I turn it off it's going to turn on for a second again like you just saw there I turn it off with the lever here and then it turns on again for just a split second as you can see and that's what you have to do to power these um, things and also another thing you have to have um, a redstone directly hooked up to this lever here to make it work because that will um, update this piston so the double extender will work so that's what this line here is for going up to here those power those uh, these two arrays of double piston extenders and this triangle I guess down here is powering this but this also has another function which I'll explain now so if I flick this lever off it's going to pulse again and what's uh, causing that is this piston here as you can see it, it moves only when I turn the lever off like this is the off state of the lever and this piston is powered by this redstone and of course by the lever and also by this torch right here so what this does is if we turn it on it's going to do nothing because we turn the lever on it's not going to retract when we turn the lever off this line and the lever will turn off so it can retract and then just two ticks after that because torch have, torches have a delay of two ticks this torch is going to go on and the piston will re retract again and you might think that that's not like the torch needs to be right at this spot but it's actually butted it's diagonally and you'll probably know what it is and you might be thinking this torch right here is also powering the piston and that's true but uh, that's uh, that's no problem because those torches will just turn on at the same time but you need this one and I'll explain you that just in a second so what this does is if you turn off the lever this is going to give a two tick pulse like right after it turned off 
So that gives your second pulse to make the retraction complete. And it also goes through here to this double extender to make this retraction also complete. So, and that's why we need this other torch because it does the same as this torch but we need it here because when this piston gives the second pulse to complete the retraction it also goes through here to the second double extender here to make this retraction complete but we don't want it to power this piston again so this torch is of course going to turn to uh, go off again if we if if we get the second pulse so I'll show you what what this does so what that would do is like this it would just go on because it's it would just go on because it's powering itself and itself and itself and itself so that's why we need that one here because the this power cannot go through the block to here to this uh, torch but if we power the lever then it can go to this wire and, you wire and you'll probably understand that I don't think I have to explain that so that's it all explained and of course in the middle you got a just row of hoppers going all the way down and they aren't powered nothing is powering them this here is is a repeater that doesn't power the hopper and this is on half slabs so that also isn't powering a single hopper so all the drops go down here and you can pick them up here or hook them up to your system whatever you want to do but that's it and I'll show you the tutorial so to build this you will need your hoppers some building blocks, 7 redstone, 9 sticky pistons, 5 redstone torches, a redstone repeater, a block of redstone and an input that may either be a lever or input by redstone torch from beneath or from a repeater, just not a single redstone. So to get it started just place your first hoppers just do like six of them and don't fall down into the void <laughs> so place your half slab on top oh yeah I, I didn't mention the half slab you also need some half slabs so that's where your mobs going to be and place your blocks right there and your pistons like so and then for your torch tower place blocks right there and right there don't place the torches yet and like that and then you want yourself the connection here and this is where your input is going to be so then you take out the block right here piece of redstone block here another up don't need that a half slab right here that needs to be an upside down half slab like that put redstone all the way there a torch here and then we need a piston right here with your block of redstone and with the size it's smaller if you don't count this block a lot of people they think different about blocks extending by pistons some count them as the size some don't but I didn't count this layer here but place a block right here with a repeater on two ticks or more more is is uh, okay but one tick is wrong that's not going to work two ticks or higher two ticks makes it the fastest so I always do two ticks and then first place um, let's see turn this to the on state place a torch right here and another torch right here torch here and last torch right here 
And that's it all done. Flick your lever down, and it's down. And then it's okay. So you got yourself your working farm now, and you can just, as I said, input with a repeater. Just one take is okay. Doesn't really matter, I guess. And you can put your whatever. I'll put a lever up here and connect it to your inputs. So what this? It just works like like charm. You can have all your your uh, precious mobs you got in here. Make a little chamber for them. So so they can't escape. If you're in here, you can't escape. I guess yeah okay that's right and just make it all pretty you know and you got yourself this nice chamber close it kill the mobs and everything will be transported over to here and you can hook up a chest or whatever down here or your system I don't know what you wanna wanna do here but this is it and uh, as I said, this is a video reaction to Ultimate Redstoner, and he did a pretty good job on this one, <laughs> I would say. He, he does challenges where we can challenge him on making it uh, smaller, and this was a hard one, I have to say. Oh, I've been working on this little contraption for like, mm, I would say, three hours, maybe? was really hard and I've not been doing this for very long this redstoning thingy so I don't really have that much experience but thanks for watching guys I'm Squareplane and I hope I see you again please like rate comment and whatever you want to do if you feel so but this has been me Squareplane and I hope I see you again bye bye